The passion runs deep here in Norman, Oklahoma, or as they say, sooner born and sooner bred, and when I die, I'll be sooner dead. Welcome to Oklahoma and the home of the Sooners. Today, a top 25 matchup on hand to college football's premier teams preparing to square off. As we'll see, the number 15 team in the country, the Tennessee Volunteers, taking on the 14th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Sooners will kick it away first. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Tennessee Volunteers offense will get the first possession of the game. And here he is, one of the best receivers in the game, and he just commands attention both from the defense and from the fans. Yeah, he's a guy you got to keep your eye on, and you're going to see him line up all over the field in this game. He can play in the slot. He can play out wide. He can run the entire gamut in the route tree as well. Really nothing this guy can't do. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Here's the handoff. Knocked down at the 31 after a gain of five. Tennessee loves relying on the big physical backs like a Jamal Lewis, and this guy fits the mold. Yeah, guys you just didn't want to tackle. I mean, guys that run angry all the time, and it's just, it's a mindset. When, when Tennessee has that mindset, the fans go crazy, and their teams are usually their best squads. He leaves it with his back. Only a short gain on that run. Defense played it well. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. The Volunteers headed quickly to the line. After run, 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 now throw. Got his man quickly. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Looking for a man. It's Iamaleava. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. Yeah, I love that the QB understood, I'm going to put some stank on this. I'm going to throw it as hard as I can quickly, right when he's breaking out of that curl. Nice job getting it to him quick so he could get a first down. And the Vols have their offense in high gear. Give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carry. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. They want to run it left here. Fighting off the defender. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, he's trying to do it all by himself at the end of the day. It's a tackle for him. Uh, I mean, the number of tackles he broke at some point, somebody's got to get blocked to help the guy out a little bit. Man, the defense was like a bunch of zombies on that last play. They just would not stop chasing that ball carry. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. They're setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. 
Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Caught behind the line. It's Samson. Well, you've seen the last two plays now. This guy's versatility. You've seen why he might be playing on Sundays in the not-too-distant future. This guy can catch the ball. He's a big part of their passing game, and he's a weapon and a guy that this defense has got to be ready for. Let's see what they've got on second down. Looking for space. It's Sampson. They make the tackle after he gets two down to the 25. The Vols want to move quickly. On third and short, the power run here. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. This offense knew coming into this one, guys, how important it was to start early. And on this opening drive for them, they're doing a nice job running the football there on third down. They're in a position on the field now. If you're on defense, you got to be ready for a shot throw into the end zone. Hand off from the gun. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. To the air, it's Iamaleava. And the rush will get to him at the 25. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. The relentless emptying of the playbook on this opening drive has now finally hit a wall. It's third and long. Throws to the wideout. On target over the middle. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Really nice job there of the quarterback reading coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. The timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. to play fake now to throw reels it in in the end zone touchdown Tennessee well, I don't know how many people expected this to happen playing on the road in this environment against a better opponent but they show tremendous poise on the opening drive nice execution they score the touchdown that was big time They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they closed the deal with the 7-yarder for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Sooners' offense will have its first possession of the game. And there's no doubt, guys, we will be focused on these two star playmakers on the outside. I'm curious to see how much man coverage we're going to see today. I don't know if either of these defenses is confident enough to go mano-a-mano -mano with these two dudes on the field. They're two of the best in the nation. 
These cornerbacks aren't looking for man-to-man -man coverage. I can promise you that. They'd be like, give me some help over here. But we're going to see some split screens, and we're going to see who had more catches, who had more yards. We're definitely going to be breaking that down this game. The Sooners come to the line in the hurry-up. Leaves it with the back. Keeps the legs moving. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. Man, a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Back to throw. It's Arnold. He lost it high and deep down the left side. It's complete! A huge pickup! When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. Looking for room. It's Ocha. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. He'll pull it on the read. They throw it in reverse as that's the final play here in the first period. That's the end of the quarter, and Tennessee has the lead. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Can't find the man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. Great job up front on this pass rush. Defense in a dime personnel grouping. They've got six DBs on the field. They're expecting pass, so they're going to have to win with four guys. And they're 4-1. They got the job done. And the Sooners will try to pin them back with the punt. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well, but... If you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. They'll leave it with him. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. And the Volunteers in the hurry up. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He's moving out of the pocket. No fear from this freshman quarterback as he picks up the first down himself. These guys aren't human anymore. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense nowadays. The Volunteers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the air. It's Iamaleava. It's complete to the right. And they pick up just a few on that completion. 
You know, sometimes even a short gain like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese. They can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss. He can take it to the house. On the run, it's Samson. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Well, that didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. From the gun, wants to pass. Using the quick game. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. And the Vols have this offense rolling. give to the running back we'll give him a couple on that one second and eight coming up this offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle he is tough to block with one guy you might want to start double teaming him he's going to be a problem moving forward you saw all of his ability on that last play after picking up a couple at second and eight from the gun running back gets to give Make the stop at the 40, but it's a 10-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. This defense really is on their heels. They've been on the field now for a long time on this drive, and they're just getting pushed around at the point of attack up front like we saw in that last play. Now on first down from the 40. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the right. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. You know, it's so important for corners to be able to transition, right? You got to have real loose hips. You got to be able to change direction on a dime. And in zone coverage, when you see the ball thrown, you can break on it and force incompletions like that. Here comes the offense on second down. Going to run it. It's Selden. Fights off a defender. He's knocked down at the 34, but they're sort of hitting them in the mouth with a six-yard pickup there. This running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not a really huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, yeah, you know what, let his talent do the rest. Wants to throw. It's Iamaleava. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football. And I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. And he missed it. No good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. The Sooner offense returns to the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. The Sooners will hustle to the line. He's going to pass on second down. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. And it's incomplete. Good play downfield by the DB. 
Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. Here's the snap. Ready to cut one loose. Safe completion on the screen. At the 45 on his way. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Lots of good stuff on that play. You slow down the rush, you get a completion, and you move the chains. And most importantly, you're right. You don't force a short yarded situation that you have to get. Nice job. Invite that rush up the field. Take advantage of the aggressiveness of the defense. Make the catch. Make the run. Get the first down. Quarterback on the keeper. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. On the run, it's all Chuck. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Sooners will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that is how a punter helps out his defense, pinning them deep in their own territory. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. It's caught. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens? That DB starts to bail, and that wide receiver comes back, and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. Now from their own 20-yard line, it's first and 10. He'll get rid of it. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now. Having given up multiple first downs on this drive, somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the blue. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. He wants to throw. He's got it. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Another first down. Man, this, this defense this defense couldn't stop a nosebleed right now. It's that bad. The Vols getting set on first and ten. They want to just keep throwing it. Caught in the backfield. It's Sampson. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. They'll go four wide, three to the left on second and eight. Looking to throw, it's Iamaleava. Got the back over the middle. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And a great job by the QB, finding the running back, getting the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. They'll immediately call timeout. They've got it at the 36 on first and 10. He's going to pass. Got a man. It's Thornton. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Well, when you're running the curl route against zone coverage as a QB, you know you've got to get the receiver the ball quickly. This quarterback has a cannon for an arm. He showed you on that last throw, and the offense picks up the first down. Inside the 25, they'll snap it from the 24. First down. 
Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. And sometimes you got to know when to give it up, right? As a quarterback, you feel it. You can't hold it that second too long when bad things can really happen. You could tell the clock went off and he was throwing that puppy away. They'll spread the defense out going five wide on second and ten. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Fires left. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. They missed a field goal on that last drive, but here on third down, they can't afford for this possession to come up empty. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab. They will score. Touchdown, Volunteers. And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. First down here for the offense. Looking for room. It's Ocha. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. Got it in the middle. It's Burks. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Just a few seconds to go here in the first half, and they'll send out the field goal team. Oh, he missed it. No good. And after the miss, it's still a 14-point game. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one from Norman so far. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. And the Volunteers will kick it off to start the second half. The returner will field it and try to do some business. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. On target to the left. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. 
Well, he's able to make it easy after that catch, and I think his speed is something that just scares DBs to death. When you think about great Oklahoma receivers recently, guys like CeeDee Lamb, Sterling Shepard, Hollywood Brown, DBs gave them so much cushion because they were afraid they were going to get run by, and I think that's how defenses treat this guy, too. With his speed and his playmaking ability, he scares you to death, and that cushion helps him out tremendously. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, Blim and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. And the Sooners racing to the line in the hurry up. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And you got to wonder if this offense is going to go for it here. They're trailing now by a lot. I know there's a lot of football still to go, and I know they're on their own end of the field, but just kind of get the feeling their defense hasn't gotten a ton of stops. They may need to stay out there, and they're going to need this quarterback to make a play. The Sooners decide to punt it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. After the incompletion, here comes second and 10 from the 32. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air grab behind the line it's Samson yeah and you see running backs in today's football they play a wide receiver basically for you but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently better find the ear plugged here comes the noise backing this defense on third down on the ground going for the first down with the give to the tight end that just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. The Volunteers will line up to punt it away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. On the return, it's Bowen. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. Here come the Sooners, ready to go on offense. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. At the 35, he's open. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. Yeah, that's excellent blocking there on the left side of the line. They were able to get great push get off the line, create a little bit of crease for that running back. They just created a wall. He had all kinds of room to run. Yeah, I might, I might go back to that one and call that one again. It worked so well. Got it behind the line. It's Roberts. They get him down after he makes the catch. Nice route there by the tight end, making it real easy for his quarterback to find an easy completion. The Sooners want to pick up the tempo. Back to throw, it's Arnold. Quickly out to the tight end. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys anymore. These guys are athletes, you line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you can start to feature them more and more in the passing game. And that last completion left him short of the sticks. It's third down. From the gun, wants to pass. 
gets it out quickly. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. Holds and fires complete to the right. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. And this passing game has him calling Boomer and answering sooner again. And they're starting to get this crowd jacked up and this crowd riled up. And listen, they love their team. And dude, think about all the success Oklahoma has had over the years. Different cast of characters. But one thing they always have, offensive success. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got it. And that's where they'll mark him, but a very productive play, and they'll move the chains. What a great deep pass down the sideline. Receiver makes a really good catch. Almost gets in the end zone, but still set up for a good position to score a touchdown on these next couple plays. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to make a game of it. They'll try to get it in with the run. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Let's it go to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown, and they finish it off, needing just a few inches and going up top to get it. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. The give to the back. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional. Put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. And the Vols are in the hurry up. Grab behind the line. It's McCoy. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here. But it was still a positive game. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Looking to pass. It's Iamaleava. He's got it. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. Oh, uh, you know, that's one as a quarterback. You've thrown the completion, and you're like, dude, can you just turn around and make one guy miss and go get the first? Or can you just stretch out and get the first down? You need your guys to have a little bit more awareness where they are in the field on that play. And even though they got the completion, it's not enough to pick up the first. And now you're staring fourth down right in the face. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shop. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. They go to the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You know, you got to be careful when you're running the draw play because you're hoping those defensive ends get way up the field, thinking it's passed. It didn't happen that time, and the defense was able to get a negative play. 
After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They'll run the counter. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Football is about adjustments. First half, line up, pound strong, pound strong. Second half, great job. You're going to move your defense and shift to try to account for that? Boom, we'll pull some guys and run a counter backside and have some success. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Man, it didn't take long for the defense to get home on that play. You see them playing man coverage in the back end, slowing down the routes from the receivers and the rest of the offense. That forced the quarterback to have to hold on to it for just a split second longer, and they were able to get the sack. And the Sooners send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Just enough time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. They'll throw it on first down. He finds his man. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Big catches, big plays, tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Got him downfield. And this defense, his head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Off play action on first down. He caught it! Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. You know, it's interesting, at this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is expecting them to run the ball, and because they're putting so many guys close to the line of scrimmage, they're taking advantage, throwing it. Two straight completions now, back-to-back. -back. And this defense has to step forward. Not only do they have to get a stop, they've got to do it quickly to keep that time from running down. And he takes it in for the score! Touchdown, ball! Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. You know, as a defense, you can have the right call and the right guy in the right spot. But that guy's just too good. And how about the running back on that play? Just making it happen, breaking off the huge gain. It's tough to get these guys on the ground. The Sooners want to crank the tempo. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Off the play fake on first down. Buys a little extra time. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. 
You know, we don't see this very much in college football anymore. Quarterbacks just taking care of their bodies and making smart decisions. Get down on the ground so you don't take one of these big hits from these nasty defensive players and just give yourself a chance to make it through the rest of this game. He'll keep it himself. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. When you're a defensive guy and you want to fire in, you want to go hit the quarterback, but you know if I fire in, he's just going to give the football up. you got to be patient. you got to understand what your responsibility is. Then you see when he keeps the football, you got to go tag him. The problem is these guys are such good athletes. They're so hard to catch once they do pull the football, but it's kind of like the hidden hat trick. You know, where's the ball? It's underneath this one? No, I picked this one up. No, it's gone. It's underneath this one? Nope, there it is. It's gone. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. Well, trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. The Sooners are moving quickly down the field. He'll do it himself. Ball's out. That football must be riveted to your rib cage. How can you let it go? At least they fell on it. Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. And they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. The drive continues after that fumble scare sent the offensive coordinator's blood pressure into orbit. Using his legs, it's Acha. They worked that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? They'll try to bully their way for the first. And the Sooners are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. The Sooners come to the line with a new set of downs. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. Catch in the middle, it's Barnes. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. The Sooners moving quickly to the line. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And it looks as if he'll pick up maybe a couple. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. Do they have another third down conversion in the bag? Already two for two on this drive. It's third and two. Quick completion on the out route. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. To the air. It's Arnold. He caught it. And he'll step out of bounds just short of the goal line. Almost a touchdown, but not in there yet. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Second and goal for the offense. Trying to punch it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown Sooner. That big score makes the end of this game very interesting. No doubt the offense got what they need. More work to do, but you had to get this part accomplished first.
ready to try the point after. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we've got to get the stop. So we're playing run. We're selling out to run because we're thinking they're going to run the football, and we got three timeouts. Let's use them wisely. Look, let's use those timeouts, save as much clock as we can so our offense has some time on the clock to do some damage when they get the football back. He'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. Now on first down from the 30. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. The offense set for a first down play. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The give from the gun. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. Turns it on in midfield. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Don't want to risk anything here. The quarterback takes a knee. 